Hi everybody. I just want to do a quick video for you about how to activate a premium collection for your Scan and Cut, um, a premium function for your Scan and Cut um, on the software that is downloaded to your computer. So we're going to be working with the roll, roll feeder later in October and I thought you would like to get it activated before class in case you wanted to follow along. Um, there's also a new um, auto blade vinyl auto blade kit that's available for cutting uh, like heat transfer vinyls and for adhesive vinyls. And that's something else that I'm going to show you how to activate today because I just got that. And then I also got some designs so I can show you how to activate your designs in your software. So when you get the roll feeder, and you should have all received that if you have a DX model like an SDX uh, 225 or a 230D, you would have gotten a roll feeder with your machine and inside the box with the roll feeder there's going to be a card and the cards look sort of like the picture that's up on the screen right now. Um, the roll feeder card is actually the one on the right. I have it open so you can see the number at the bottom. And the other two are my um, vinyl auto blade kit cards. So I got the Disney card or the Disney version of it so I got an auto blade a blade holder, and then I got the top card, which is the actual function um, activation card, and then I also got some Disney designs with mine. So we're gonna sh I'm going to show you how to, to activate these three cards today um, in the software. So we're, we haven't really talked about the, the PC version of the software very much, but in order to use the uh, roll feeder function, you have to use the, the PC version of this software. So we are going to start talking a little bit about this. I've used it a little bit now. Um, I'm also going to do a video about how I'm going to make the little project that we're going to do for the class. Um, and I will also do a separate video on that, just doing a simple project with lettering um, in that software. So we're going to activate these today. So I want to activate the roll feeder first, and then I'm going to activate my vinyl auto blade and my Disney designs, okay? So mine are already activated, so I won't be able to actually activate it, but I'll show you how it works in the software. So the first thing we have to do is get into the software, and it's Brother uh, Canvas Workspace over here, this little icon here. I'm going to double click on it. And then you do have to log in just as if you were going to the website um, for um, to log in. So I'm going to log into my, my account. Hopefully I can type my password correctly. And I'm going to click log in and it's going to open up my workspace. So the first thing that opens, which is really cool, is um, they have all these Canvas projects. I was so glad they added that to this, to this um, version of the software because all of these are free and there's so many really cool ones and they do a lot of seasonal things, so make sure you look at those. Um, you can also access the pattern collections that you own by clicking on pattern collections. These are the non-Disney um, pattern collections that you own. You can access them through here. Um, and if you have some Disney collections, there's a little tab up here that says Disney as well. If I click on that, it tells me to open the web browser. And if you click OK, it opens, opens it up into the web browser. You cannot access your Disney designs through the PC version of the software. You can activate them here, but you cannot access them to use them with your machine. So you have to do that on the web browser. So it reminds you each time if you want to use a Disney design, it opens you up. So if I click OK right here, it's going to open up my web browser and it's going to take me to, no, I'm not logged in, so we'll just log in. It'll take me to my Disney designs then. And I know this is confusing to go back and forth, but unfortunately we still have to do a little bit of this back and forth. So here is my Canvas workspace, and this is on Google Chrome, so I'm on the browser. So in order for me to access my Disney designs, which I own, and I can send these to my machine, um, I have to be on the web browser. It will not allow me to do that on my computer, okay, on the PC version of the software. So I'm going to close this right now. We may go back there a little bit. So this is what comes up on the screen when you first open up the PC version of Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to close this. I don't need that right at the moment. What I want to do is activate my premium functions. So to do that, I'm going to go to Help, 
and I'm going to go down to where it says account settings. So I'm going to click on account settings and this is the screen that comes up and this looks very similar to the one that's all also on the, the browser version and this is it's the same kind of, of screen. So here's my user information settings. Um, those are your personal things, your password and all that. This is the second button on the right here is the machine's registration. So if you have not um, registered your machine to the software so you can wirelessly send things back and forth, this is where you do that. It's very simple. You go in here, you register a new machine, it walks you through step by step because you need to get a PIN code from the software on your computer that you would then put into your machine and then they will talk to each other and you can send designs wirelessly back and forth from the, the machine to the software and from the software to the machine. So it's really cool. So that's the, the machine registration area. Then, whoops, I didn't hit the back button so we'll just go back to account settings. There we go. And then here is where I can activate my pattern collections, including the Disney. I just can't access them in this version of the software, but I can activate them here. And then, and what we're going to do first is the roll feeder, and so that is a premium function. So I'm going to click on premium function activation, and this little thing, it says premium function activation, there's a little area here, and inside that card is that number. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my caps lock on, and I'm going to type my number. You do not have to put the hyphens in. It automa automatically does it for you. So I'm just going to type in my number that's on my card. And I've already done this, so I won't be able to finish it. But you will see what I'm doing. So I'm just typing these in. And there's my number. Okay. And then I'm going to click the Activate button. And mine's going to say the premium function has already been activated because I already did it. Okay. So after that is done and you've activated it, I think there's an OK button that comes up down here. Then at the bottom of this little screen, you will see then the items that are active that are premium functions. So like here's my roll feeder then. So here's the roll feeder that I did. I've also got several other premium functions like the rhinestones and the printable stickers and the stamps. So, and there's still a few that are grayed out that I haven't activated yet. And then we're going to do the vinyl auto blade because I also just got that kit as well. So that is the other one that we'll, we'll do. So that's, we're going to do this in the same area. I'm going to go ahead and find my vinyl auto blade activation card. And this is again a premium function. I'm going to type that one in, and this is all. This is in the box with the blade and blade holder, and I'm trying to type the number here while I'm talking. And I think I've already done this one, so it'll come up also that it's been activated. But you can see me see what I do. I type in the number, and then I'm going to hit activate. And again, this one's going to say it's already been activated. And there'd be an OK button down here if you hadn't activated it. And again, I'm going to kind of scroll down here to the bottom. And here then is my vinyl auto blade. So when it's, when it's um, highlighted like that, that means that it is active in my account. So I've got that one. OK, so those are the premium functions. So that's how you, you activate your premium functions. I'll go over where you go to get to the screen one more time. It's under Help. Account Settings, and then I was under the Premium Function Activation. Well, now I would like to also do my Disney designs that I received with my Disney Vinyl Auto Blade um, kit. And to do those, you're going to go under Pattern Collections. So I'm going to click on Pattern Collections. It's the same type of thing. I'm going to click on the Activation Code area and I am going to type in my activation code and it, it does the hyphens for you again which is nice and I'm going to type type my code in and then I would hit activate in this case it's going to say that I've already activated it again the activation code is already registered so it knows that and then when I go down here scroll down on this page then it says activated pattern collection so here's my Disney uh, vinyl auto blade kit that I just did 
I have a couple of other Disney designs as well. And I have several others. I have the calligraphy starter kit, and I have some of the tattered lace kits, and then I have like another pattern collection. So those will all show, all, your, all the collections that you've purchased will show there. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do this. Before the class, um, you will want to get your, uh, your roll feeder activated, and that way we can, you can kind of work along if you want. And then I'm going to also do a little video about how to, how I'm going to set up the pattern that we're going to cut that night. I'm actually going to make something, a little small thing in the, in the software. And I will do a little video of that as well. So get your act, you, you now know how to activate your um, roll feeder. And your, if you have it, the new vinyl auto blade, you do not have to have that to cut vinyl, but the new auto blade is a different angle. So I I think it's, it seems to cut the vinyl much more precisely, and especially if it's a small, um, precise cut, it seems like it's cutting better. Um, I've cut a couple things on it already today, and it works very well. So I, if you cut a lot of vinyl, heat transfer, or adhesive, I would recommend purchasing that um, new vinyl auto blade kit, one of the two. There's a Disney one and a plain one, and I have those um, up on the website, or I will shortly. And I have them up on the website so you can get them. And they're also in the stores. We just got them in the last week. So, okay. So if you have any questions about activating your roll feeder function, it's, which is a premium function in the software, um, give me a call at the store or text me through Facebook and I will help you out. Hopefully this little video helped you to get that activation process done. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.